इस वक्त हम क्ले हॉल पार्क पार्क इन्फर्ट लंदन में एक फंक्शन है वहाँ लंदन के मेयर एमपी मिस्टर वेस और माइक जो हैं वो सारे आ रहे हैं और आवाम का सामना करने आ रहे हैं आवाम उनको क्या कहती है आवाम को वो क्या कहते हैं हम आपको भी सुनाएंगे दिखाएंगे कि जो लोग आवाम के साथ रहते हैं पब्लिक में रहते हैं पब्लिक के दिलों में रहते हैं पब्लिक उनको सर पे बिठाती है उनको इज्जत देती है उनको क्राउन पहनाती है और जो पब्लिक की बात नहीं सुनते वो नेशो नाबूद हो जाते हैं मिट जाते हैं फिर कोशर नशीनी की जिंदगी गुजारते हैं उनको घर वाले भी नहीं पूछते तो नाजी द ग्रेट व्यूअर्स लाइव विद वाई जे के मैम के साथ आज आप एंजॉय करेंगे यहाँ लंडन के वो लोग जो मुसलसल जीतते आ रहे हैं कैसे जीते उन्होंने आवाम के दिल जीते तो आइए हम आपको खुश खुश रहेंगे पार्लियामेंटेरियन लेबर पार्टी के पार्लियामेंटेरियन हैं और मिस्टर माइक ये लोगों से सवाल जवाब उनके सख्त सवालों के जवाब दे रहे हैं सुनिए एंजॉय कीजिए और खुदा करे कि हमारे मुल्क में भी लोग सामना करें और हमारे पार्लियामेंटेरियन जवाब दें घबराते हैं भाग जाते हैं जीतने के बाद हल्कों में नहीं जाते और फिर उनको आवाम भी बुला देते हैं आइए देखिए एंजॉय कीजिए गुड वेदर इन लंडन और मैं बेहद ममनून हूँ अपने बेटे उमर जावेद का जिन्होंने सारा मैनेज किया और ये खूबसूरत प्रोग्राम हम आपको लंदन से बरह साथ बरह रास्त दिखा रहे हैं हमारे साथ में ये How do you feel uh, the ratio of uh, increasing burglaries? Uh, people are scared. Why? Why? Well, they are scared. The police. They, they, I have heard the speech of Honorable this uh, yeah, uh, yeah. your MP Wills. He spoke very nice in the yeah. Parliament. Well, the, the reality is that there are uh, there's an increase in crime, and there are big cuts in the money that central government uh, is giving to local government. And as a result, local government is having to make cuts to services. And in London, we have had 700 million pounds taken out of the budget of the police in London. Policing, and that has a consequence. It means they close police stations, they reduce the number of police officers, and of course. And the criminals feel that they can be more. No, that, that's true. That's but, the big problem. Uh, what, do you, what, what is, what is uh, your efforts to re, to uh, uh, make this uh, highlight that life is life is uh, lives of the people are on race? Well, we raise we, we raise the issue in Parliament. We contact the curtailing curtailing the amount. No, 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 no. I'm a, I'm a Labour MP. Yeah, I'm in opposition. I, I, I'm the and, friend of, and, 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 of the Labour. No, 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 no. It's the Conservative. Government and before them the coalition. But you are there to no, hammer no, them. No, you are there yeah, to hammer we, them. Uh, we do. No, we do. But sir, if you You're do very not, strong, no, very you, strong look, no, listen, listen to me. Very if strong. you don't have a majority against them, then they vote through cuts, which is what they did again last week. The problem is we lost the general election. We have a conservative government. But even vote, then, no. even then, you got a wonderful success. No, well, look, Mr. Look, Shock is a friend of mine. Not, look, winning, winning. Winning, coming second. But you are coming second <laughs> is not good enough. Yeah, you have, uh, uh, great struggle, great struggle. I would request yes. you. To, I would request you to have your into separately, uh, and I will coordinate with my son to further talk to you. And okay, I will have right. a wonderful. Thank
thank you. I think it's okay. I have my, my, the name of my program is Great People. Great People. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wonderful. Keep it up. Thank you. Hopefully, next time I will see you not in opposition. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Keep in touch, and I'll obviously be keeping in touch with you as well. Right, guys, can we form a circle? Okay, people, so the, the best way I think we do, I'm Lloyd, I work for Wes, I'm also a local councillor, is if we just take questions in one, if we just put your hands up, everyone will have a go. Don't talk over people, and then we get through things quickly, and then we get through the railings, that's something I can absolutely look at. Um, have you got my contact details? Daniel, the best thing we'll start off with we'll it. I've got to start with it. Thanks very much. Yeah, Lloyd's got my pen. Could you just um, drop me a reminder on there just to email him around about um, the um, railings? Um, on the Woods estate. Yeah, fine. So we're going to start with it. With it with... Thank you. <laughs> Right now, no, I'll, I'll I'll just 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 okay, fine. Right, I'll just one, one, yeah. one, one service, service. just one. I have come from Pakistan, especially to meet you. Oh, nice. I heard your speech in Bali Mint. Okay. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you very much. Well, uh, I'm yeah. a believer. I'm a believer. Oh, for director of Antelivian. Oh, I'm chairman of Antelivian. Oh, for you. Oh, you got some. My son is here. Oh, great. That's fantastic. Yeah, drop me a line. Yeah, come in for a cup of tea. I'll see your separate interview with great people. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm happy to do that. Great people, okay? Yeah. And I'll run your campaign. All right, thanks very much. I would like to see you as a prime minister. Really nice to see you. Thanks very much. Oh, this way. Hello, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm very well. Do you want to come and join in? Yeah. We start a shift about 6 o'clock and we go all the way up to about 3 o'clock in the morning. We don't, we don't need to do this. Yeah. But we're, we're literally going every single... That reduction in crime is not something to do because they've done something about it. It's us as a, as a collective group that, 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 that you know, we've reduced it. So the question to yourself is, what is it that we're getting from the local government to support us? Because we're not getting nothing at all. Well, just, I mean, just to bear in mind, um, some of the stuff that you've heard this morning, like particularly where it concerns things like um, AMPR cameras, um, extra enforcement officers um, that, that are being paid for with that £1.5 million pounds that Jazz mentioned, that, that isn't already in place. The, the money's committed, but obviously it takes time to get cameras in place and to recruit enforcement officers. And one of the things that I know Jazz feels very strongly about is consulting the local community about the location of the cameras. Because as much as um, I, I'm, I like to think I know my constituency well and I'm out every week and knocking on doors, local councillors, whether they're Labour or Conservatives, know their, know their wards really well. Um, no one knows your street better than you do and no one knows your, your surrounding areas better than you do. So um, I know Jazz wants to consult with um, local residents um, and your WhatsApp um, network is actually very helpful in terms of cascading information and getting information back so I just want to say thank you to people like you and others that have set these groups up and, and are doing that because it is actually really helpful um, and you know it's great the communities come together in this way and you're and you're getting to know each other better than you should have done I bet you did before but you shouldn't have to be doing this in order to keep your streets safe so I'm sorry about that so, um, so in, in Essex about the patrolling yep. side right and in Essex it's, it's worked quite well um, you know They've taken away from the police, and the public are doing it. So what, 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 we're, what we're saying is, look, we've, we're one of the most expensive when it comes down to council tax. You guys aren't, can't give us the police force. You can't give, give us enforcement. Like, I mean, there was there was a note, wasn't there a note about something that he started last Monday? Yeah. I've not even that? seen that. So, the enforcement officers. Yeah, so they read they read tasks. So enforcement officers are the people that you know you'll see around town centres and high streets um, doing things like. Um, you know, anti-social behaviour, give you a penalty notice and that kind of thing, but <laughs> things you shouldn't do. So um, but they've been recast so that they've been out on um, evening patrol, so they've just been out on as well. And the idea is to increase, they did start last week. Um, we have not seen any of those. Uh, 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 just which bit of some play hall are you? From, from, from Longwood Garden, all the way up. Hold on, hold on, he's responding. So, and he's, uh, yeah. Mr. Viz is responding. So, the Woods Estate public, as well, or? Public is yeah. raising it. Very sarcastic questions about burglaries, about safeties, about securities. They say that they cannot uh, sleep. They are very unsafe. So very patiently, they keep MP Viz, who are giving answers.
some immediate measures to be put into place for the security of the residents. You know, because as Devan has said, we are one of the highest council tax paying residents here in this borough. And yet we have this fear on a daily basis. Yeah, so I mean just to just to sort of reassure you about what has already been done. So the police set up Operation Mexico, which is their um, units specifically dedicated to burglary, um, and they've pulled resources from other areas um, in order to focus on burglary specifically. Um, and that's led to a um, significant number of, of, of arrests. I mean, um, the last time I saw the figures, we were talking dozens of arrests Sorry, can I, can in the last <laughs> couple of weeks. Yep. Yeah. Um, where you, you guys have asked to pull resources, sorry, um, where the police has asked to pull resources from surrounding areas, I know a lot of those resources have turned down coming to Redbridge. A lot of them have turned down because they're overstretched. I know people doing 80 hour shifts in Waltham Forest, etc. They've been asked to come over. They haven't been able to. So, and they know for fact from surrounding areas, they've not been able to pull those resources. Yeah, look, the truth. I mean, the, the, the truth is, the, the, Met, the Met's lost 700 million pounds since 2010, yeah. and those cuts do have consequences. And you know, when I last met with um, Cressida Dick, the um, Metropolitan Police Commissioner, before Christmas, and we were talking to her about the policing model for, um, for this borough, um, Barking, Dagna, and, and Havering, and talking about you know a wide range of crimes that we're concerned about as MPs, you know, she was very candid about the fact that she is doing what she can with the resources that she has, but with the diminishing resources, she is not able to provide the level of service that she would want to provide and we would want her to provide. And even on counter-terrorism where, you know, we had high-profile terror attacks last year, um, the level of terror threats to this country is unprecedented in terms of the scope and scale. The Met asked for £100 million worth of funding and they were given only £50 million in the police grant last week, which is why I voted against it. Um, so, um, you know, I'm afraid budgets and resources are an issue. Um, we've already taken that up with the policing minister um, and with the Home Secretary. Um, I also sit on the House of Commons Treasury Committee, so I can absolutely guarantee that next time Philip Hammond comes in front of us, I'll be asking about Treasury funding for the Home Office as well. So I'm sure if I knocked on Amber Rudd's door, she would say, well, look, this is what we're doing. Blah, 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 blah. And then eventually, um, when I sort of press on it, she would say, but, you know, you know the funding I'm given from the Treasury. So ultimately, we need to get more funding generally for crime and policing and security. Um, and more than we've got at the moment, but it, but it is a it is a pressure. Um, the, 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 there are resources being pulled in, as I said, and that's both about the analytical side, so intelligence gathering, looking at patterns and trends of crime, as well as police officers. Um, but we know more needs to be done. Um, the mayor's obviously committed extra funding for additional police officers as part of his budget next week. They'll take a bit of time to come online, but hopefully it, it reassures you that everyone has recognised the problem and no one sort of thinks that residents are kind of um, being irrational or kind of exaggerating the level of problem. We know that there is a problem. The level of, resources, the level of arrests has been encouraging. One of the issues that residents over there raised with me and the, and the local police have raised with me is about sentencing as well. So I'll be taking up with the CPS and with the Justice Secretary some of the concerns about persistent offenders um, who've been released. We have got a problem with young offenders as well. Um, I'm never one to bash young people. I think they get, I think they get a terrible um, media even though most of them are absolutely brilliant but the fact is that um, g gangs know that if you've got people under the age of 18 under the age of 16 then the juvenile um, system kicks in and there's less risk to the young people um, um, less harsh penalties so we've got from there as well yeah I wouldn't necessarily go I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily go that far but uh, um, I don't believe in bringing back the cane either but we do need to do something about young ladies and gentlemen listen the honorable member parliament of the labor party mr Viz is adjusting responding to the people uh, देखा कैसे आवाम के सामने जवाब दे रहा है, रिस्पॉन्ड करना पड़ता है इस इलाके में लेज जो इल्फर्ड का एरिया है, वैसे इट यूज्ड टू बी वेरी सेफ यहाँ से हमारे दोस्त जो हैं जनाब शौकत चौधरी साहब पाकिस्तान ब्रिटिश लेबर पार्टी के जो फ्रेंड्स हैं उनके वो चेयरमैन हैं और बहुत बड़े इंसिजेस्टिक हैं बड़े बोलो बोलो अंग्रेज़ उनकी सांसद हैं और दोस्तों के दोस्त हैं हमने उनका इंटरव्यू किया ये उनके एमपीज़ हैं और प्ले हॉल एरिये में ये पब्लिक के साथ ग्राउंड में एड्रेस कर रहे हैं सख्त सवालों के जवाब दे रहे हैं क्योंकि सिक्योरिटी पर भी कंप्रोमाइज हो गई है लिहाजा देखिए जो लोग अपने
ان عوام میں رہتے ہیں وہ پھر پارلیمان میں رہتے ہیں اور جو عوام سے دور رہتے ہیں ان کے وہ پھر ملک سے بھی دور رہتے ہیں اور ان کو لوگ دلوں سے نکال دیتے ہیں اور جسٹ بالکل وہ گمنامی کی زندگی بسر کرتے ہیں ہم اس وقت آپ کو لائف مرازہ دکھا رہے ہیں لیبر پارٹی کے ایم پی مسٹر ویز اور مائک دونوں ایم پی پبلک کے سامنے جواب دے کھڑے ہوئے ہیں سوالوں کے جواب دے رہے ہیں سخت سوالوں کے جواب دے رہے ہیں ہم انشاءاللہ آپ کو بہت جلد میبر پارلیمنٹس برطانوی میبر پارلیمنٹس کے انچیز دکھائیں گے اور یقیناً آپ خوش ہوں گے اور آپ دیکھیں گے ہم آپ کو لمحہ بلہمہ انٹرنیشنل پولیٹکس کے ساتھ رابطہ کروائے ہوئے ہیں اور دیکھئے قومیں کس طرح ترقی کرتے ہیں ہمارے ہاں ایم پی سیوہ ایم پی ایم این ایم ایسٹر جو ہیں وہ جیتنے کے بعد حلقوں میں نہیں جاتے اور پھر وہ ان کا نام لوگ اپنے دنوں سے نگال دیتے ہیں خوبصورت موسم پیٹی ویدر خوبصورت لش کلے حال بار گراؤنڈ ہے یہ